Hello again. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video of Vape Fest. Uh, that was over the weekend, and hopefully the success from that will allow Vape Fest 2013 to happen next year. In this video, I'll show you a few of the basics. Uh, you'll start off if you go out and you buy a kit. Um, I believe the basic beginner kit would be the probably the the ego. The Ego kit, uh, Ego T or Ego C. Uh, it's a basic starter kit, you don't get into too many technical details like uh, what kind of uh, wick to use, wire to use, you, you're not fixing anything, you're not repairing anything, that kind of thing. We can get into those in more detail in, uh, in future videos. Uh, basically, with this kit, as you've seen with mine, you get your cigarettes. You get two of these actually, you get two exactly like this. You have the cartridge at the top. That's this cartridge here. You have the little uh, silicone top on the top, silicone base on it, and you can remove. You can fill this with your new juice, whatever flavor juice you want, and you can pop it back in. It pops in, in like that, ready to go. Take out the cartridge, and then start off. We have the co or we have the I suppose the co the, the the body. It's the atomizer body. It contains the atomizer in here. Uh, you've got the cone base and the cone, and with ins inside it, within it, if we unscrew it, the two pieces come apart. And this part here, that's the atomizer. And it doesn't want to come out without coming apart. Uh, this is the atomizer here, little small things. Uh, that's where your juice goes through, and that's where your juice vaporizes. Your juice vaporizes, so you can have a nice, lovely vape. That screws down into the from the base to the body, and away you go. Then come along, you've got your battery. This is your standard battery, uh, I think this is a 650 ma, ma MAH, uh, your ohms, your wattages, that's all comes in at future dates if you're using various other things like Prevaris and that kind of thing. Uh, you charge that, you get your charger with it. Uh, USB charger, you screw the battery into the bottom, the LED will light up. It'll go green when you don't have the battery in it. It'll stay green until you put your battery in. It will then go red. Once it's finished charging, it it goes from red back to green, and you know your e-cigarette, your battery, your e-cigarette battery is ready to go again. Plugs into you can get you can get plugs. You know those USB plugs. You just plug it into the wall and plug the USB in. You can I think a lot of phone chargers have them nowadays, or you can charge it off your computer, or if you have to have one in the car and like that. Uh, if you have a USB car charger in the car, you can use that as well. Uh, what I got over the weekend, uh, I got, they're called Kangers, Kanger T2s. They are, they look like this. <coughs> so that is basically the cartridge, the cone base, everything like that, all in one. So you've got the, you've got the top on it, the mouthpiece I suppose I call it, which can come off. As you can see this has been, it's in use. Because uh, I have juice already in the little tank on it, and holds, and it gets, so it's 2.4 mils on the side, but it can hold up to, I think it's 2.5 if you're feeling a bit lucky. At the top there, this bit comes out, and you can see inside it, you can see they're soaked, but that's the wick. The wick draws up the juice into, this is the atomizer here, the atomizer is all contained in this part here, which you can unscrew, and you can replace them when, if it goes wrong with it, or every now and then, it's like any standard part of anything, you just recharge it, no way, or you just replace it, and away you go. That then screws on the top of your battery, like this one here, which I have ready to go, and um, you vape away. Been using these since Vape Fest, I think it was uh, Vape Fest, I think it's three, four days now, and uh, I'm quite pleased with them. They give a good, decent, all around vape, uh, it's consistent, unless the battery's about to die. And uh, I'm quite pleased with them, so I'd highly recommend them as well. Once you've, once you realise that you do want to start vaping, you then you can get rid of the cartridges, you can get rid of the, the cone, the cones and stuff like that. And you can get rid of all this, and you just have the battery and the car, and that's it. Uh, that's my setup. Uh, I think that's the basic setup. That's what's recommended anyway. To start with it. It's not too expensive. It's simple enough to use once it's been explained to you, and uh, it's easy enough to use as well. And, uh, well, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. I have reviews of juices coming. Uh, this is the hardware of, I've, uh, as I said, 
Uh, this is what I use now, the car on top of the battery and I've been off cigarettes for one month and one week today. So that's five weeks altogether I haven't smoked a single cigarette. So hopefully if anybody sees this it will encourage them to try vaping anyway. Go to the shop, try one of those standards, those ones you buy in the shop there. 30 or 40 cigarettes per... Uh, approximately 30 or 40 cigarettes worth of nicotine and stuff in them in the ones that you buy in the shop. You can pick them up for 7, 8 euro. And uh, I advise you to give that a shot first, see if it'll keep you off the cigarettes, and uh, if it does, switch to these. See, so sir, uh, I think some people can get it down to about, I think it's about 25, 30 euro a month. That's just juices. Um, so, as you can, so it's, it's a big difference to just buying uh, a box of cigarettes every day or every second day or something like that. Um, right, so that's it. That's the uh, second video on the channel. Uh, like and favourite if you don't mind and send me on to all your friends or if you find anybody who wants to who either want to quit smoking or anybody who's interested in quitting smoking uh, or even just maybe not quitting smoking but getting off cigarettes get onto these it's the juice inside it's usually it's uh, a mixture of PG that's propyl glycol I think it's pronounced and VG which is vegetable glycerin they're mixed together you add in just nicotine and then you add in the flavour and that's a standard juice. Uh, you can get juices in many, many different varieties from your tobaccos all the way down to your your vanillas and your, and your I think it's over down there. I think we'll have, uh, vanilla custard in there actually I picked that up at Vapefest over the weekend. Uh, <clears throat> that's a Wing Nuts Premium Vanilla Custard. I'll have a link in the description of where you can buy it and where you can get other products from Wing Nut with his, uh, his own brew own brew, own mix. Uh, Okie dokie, that's itchy face. Uh, that's this video and hopefully going on, going forward, we can uh, share all this together and hopefully I'll be able to give you some good hints and tips. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.